Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm doing the biggest challenge I have ever done. 100 days of survival Minecraft. Now, I didn't just not die within these 100 days. I also somehow built an amazing area within 100 days. It was hard at some times, but easy at others. But a lot of the time, when it was hard, I was near to death. But I think the main thing was that I survived. And I built a lovely world off of it as well. My main objective was to survive 100 days, but also to see how much I could build over 100 days. And I also hope you guys will enjoy my 100 days of survival Minecraft. And let's get straight into it. Here we are on day one. I immediately looked round and I looked at my map and I saw the sunrise. I was looking round, looking for any buildings nearby, but I ended up just running round for a little bit, wondering what to do and what to build. Now, after looking round, it was pretty boring, but then I found an oak sapling, and I planted it. I carried on running round on day one, but I couldn't find anything, until I ended up stumbling across a cave where I started to mine some stone. I saw some iron on the ground, but knowing that I only had a wooden pickaxe, I wouldn't be able to break it. Running round, I then saw a spider, and then a skeleton emerged, and it shot me in the back. I then hid round the corner, waiting for it to come along. I carried on hiding and looking round the side. It saw me again, but then when I looked round next time, I then saw it spinning like crazy, like it was at a disco. Then it came round, and I ended up killing it. And I killed my first mob in this 100 days. And at the end of day one, I watched the moon set and the sun rise. Going on to day two, I watched the sun rise. Also on day two, I looked for where I had originally spawned and I found it. I also found the tree sapling that I placed and a cow right next to it, which was honestly a little bit weird to see. But after looking round, I found the exact place where I had spawned. Coming then towards the end of day two, I also built a lovely little hut. And this is all it is. Going on to day three, I woke up and I found myself with some new stuff. I also put some torches outside my door so mobs wouldn't come close. Also on day three, I started by doing some terraforming to change the land out the front of my house. And by the end of it, it was looking pretty good, and it was all flat. I carried on the day by adding a new room to my house at the end of day three, which looked pretty nice. I also destroyed my bed, but I built it up, and it was looking amazing for day three, and I also started to build the roof and finishing off the floor. At the beginning of day four, I started by chopping down a couple of trees which actually felt pretty nice to chop down a couple of trees as it had been a little while since i chopped down anything i also found some coal which was pretty awesome to find i also upgraded my house a little bit to make it look even better on day five i made the final changes to to my new room in my house which was pretty exciting to have. After I'd done all of these changes, I started building up another room, but this time I was going to go one higher, and I was going to go higher. On day six, I began to build a new part of my house, which was going to be very good. And it actually turned out to be amazing, as this would be like a massive hall in my house. This took me very long to build, and after finishing off the roof, I was so happy at the end of it to finally have done this massive roof. Then coming into my house I, for the first time in the day, I ran in and there was a creeper right there, and I absolutely got scared. It came to the door, and I was so scared. But I opened it and closed it for some weird reason. I ended up mustering up the courage to finally try and run in there and attack the creeper. Except it sort of went horribly wrong. I spent part of day seven looking at the wreckage of what that creeper had done. 
Luckily, I found some spare wood on my roof, which could be used to repair most of my house. It was lucky that was there, because if it hadn't, I wouldn't be able to repair my house. When I woke up on day eight, I had fitted a new map to my left hand. And straight away, I got to building on day eight, as I wanted to build a new structure right on the coastline of my world. Now, I didn't have much wood to use, so I just used the little bit that I had. And in the end, I built this sort of mini fortress on, on the beach, which was pretty amazing to have. And I liked it. And I then started to build an even bigger structure at the back of my house. Going on to day nine, I found this person with some llamas. I ended up finding out after I had hit this person, it was actually a villager. But this person was invisible and I was pretty spooked out by it. So I carried on hitting him and sadly he ended up dying. But then these two llamas started to kill each other and I was looking and I was watching. But then I grabbed them by leads and I started to lead them away from each other. These two llamas were still killing each other, so I made them a pen, but they were still fighting, so I went off to find a different animal. I spent the beginning of day 10 chopping down this gigantic tree. Also over day 10, I captured a couple more animals, including one of the llamas, and I was smelting some glass. On day 11, I wanted to go mining, so I just started digging down. Very quickly, I found myself reaching stone after just a couple of blocks of dirt. I carried on mining lower, and lo and behold, I found some redstone very soon. Except, there was a little twist. I thought I could mine it with my stone pickaxe, but I didn't want to chance it. So I ended up making an iron pickaxe to mine it. It would ultimately make it much easier. And as I went to mine the first block, I realised there was lava on the other side, so I wanted to stay away. But I ended up mining upright, and in the end, I did get the redstone. I started day 12 in the pitch black, but I found some iron ore. Later on, I found some more lava, but I ended up finding a way to block it up. But I had iron all around me, so I ended up mining it. And in the end, I got a lot of iron. After mining all of that iron ore, I went exploring, and I came across the first slime I'd ever fought in this game. And after killing it, there was lots of them. Then there was tiny miniature ones, which I ended up killing and had a load of slime balls for me, which was very useful. And meant that later on, I may be able to create a slime block. Once I had reached the surface on day 12, I looked to my animals, but I found a gold helmet and I got some leather boots, which I was very happy with. On day 13, I started out by planting some trees, so I would have future supplies of wood, and this would come out to be very useful in the future. I also started to build the glass roof of my new room in my house on day 13 as well. Also on day 13, I started to build a brand new part to my seafront barrier. On day 14, I carried on building up my seafront building, and it was actually turning out to be a pretty amazing building, although I did have to destroy a couple of torches. And at the end of it, I was very happy with how it had gone, and it was a pretty amazing building with a new look to the entire sea. I spent the rest of day 14 terraforming the place and it was actually very nice to see that I was able to terraform a good amount of air. From day 15 till day 16, all I did was terraform. On day 17, I made myself a shield. I started off day 18 by building two more levels to my house, not going sideways, but going upwards, which is absolutely amazing. I also finished my pool on top of my house, which is also amazing. I built a window in my room on day 19, which made my house look even nicer than before. And also I put down a sign. I also 
chop down another massive tree. On day 20, I woke up to see the ocean out of my great big window. I also found a crazy discovery of a witch's hut. I also stole their cauldron as well, just to have a bit of fun. On day 21, I built this massive, tall structure in the air. It is all made out of wood and it is a crazy structure high up. I spent the whole day of day 22 building up this sky platform miles up in the air and I watched the sun set. I spent all of day 23 chopping down trees in this horrible swamp. From day 24 until day 26, all I did was chop down birch trees. On day 27, I continue construction on my house to build even more levels to it. I also added a little bit of glass. On day 20, I completed construction of my new tallest room in my house but still not as tall as my tower although it was looking pretty nice with glass all round i even chose to venture up to my taller structure my tower to see what was all around me it looked a bit dull of what was around but it still looked like there was a lot to do and then i fell asleep for day 28 I spent a lot of day 29 building a pen for animals. This was pretty exciting as already we have one volunteer. I also started to build a hut on day 29. This was just to see my animals and what they would be doing over these days. And just to give me also a little bit of shelter. While constructing this, I was wondering maybe I should stop here and just leave it how it is. But I didn't end up. I wanted a roof on it so I wouldn't get wet in all this torrential rain. I spent day 30 building a brand new building away from my house. And it was going to be very different as it was being made out of birch wood. Later on in the day I'd finish off the walls and it was looking really good. And I was absolutely loving it. On day 31, I put loads of sand into furnaces so I could get loads of glass. I also went out back into the swamp to see how my animals had gotten on. And I had two sheep I was pulling along as well so I could put them in that second pen I had made. After pulling them in, they were actually being quite annoying, not wanting to get into the pen. So they were both pushing each other back and forth. And that's how I got them in. On day 32, I ended up finishing off my new building's roof full of glass. And it was looking brilliant. On day 33, I was completing a second floor to this new building I was making. And I dropped a little bit of wood and that one block was needed to get me one block closer to carrying on. Then I also put in a new feature of a bit of glass in my house as well to make it look a, that little bit more nicer. I also went out and ended up chopping down loads more trees on day 33 and that was pretty much the end. On day 34 I woke up to this lovely view of the sea once again. I went out very quickly to go to my new house. I ate a bit of fish and I got the delicious fish achievement as i ran down it was very weird and i wasn't used to seeing my house and then i completed the build from day 35 to day 36 i was down in the mines i found my first bits of lapis lazuli and i also found my first bits of gold and i found a little bit more redstone Straight away on day 37, I started to build a new room for my house. And I also chopped down a couple of trees because I ran out of wood. I also finished off this new room by putting glass in. And now you can actually see the outside world. 
the new room became my chest room. On day 40 I made this mushroom house and I also started to make this new farm. At the beginning of day 41 straight away I'm planting some seeds from my new harvest. Also I looked at the map and I saw how little of the map I had actually explored and at the end of day 41 I watched the sun set. I now cut sugarcane for fun. On day 43 I built another crop which means double the amount of wheat I can have and also means double the bread. On day 44 I'm making a sugarcane farm. Yes, I said it, a sugarcane farm. I planted some sugarcane on day 25 and made a full sugarcane farm. All the way on day 46, I make a water pool which is floating. On day 47, I start to extend my house out even further. On day 48, I start to make extensions, building, yes, a path around my farm. And I also knock down the wall in my chest room to make it more open space. I'm back to chopping down trees on day 49. And yes, we're halfway there to 100 days, we're on day 50. The first thing I do is look out and see my entire world. And also, I then go and build a massive 100 days statue. I've built another room on day 51 and I'm putting in the floor. You definitely guessed this one right, I'm back to building on day 52 and building this round structure and also it has windows, which is again pretty cool. On day 53 I went back down into the mines and I found some iron. I also came across this very weird rail track in darkness and I also found a chest in a minecart. On day 54, back to putting in some new crops, and this time it's going to be something a bit different. On day 55, back to growing some new things, except I think this is going to be another wheat farm. And I also run over here to put some torches down, so it can be light so no mobs come by. I start out on day 56, heading back to the swamp to check up on my animals to see if they're okay. After checking up with them, I also then went and built a massive mob maker. Once again on day 57, I got back to chopping down some trees. On day 58, I ran into a zombie and I killed it. I went out exploring on the sea on day 59 and I found a shipwreck with a load of loot in it, but also a load of rotten potatoes. I built this bridge on day 60. On day 61 I'm extending my house out even more. Right back to planting those seeds on day 62. I've now upgraded my bridge. On day 64 I started to build none other than a tree house. On day 65 I completed that tree house and I also made a new hallway. Day 66, I put in a new window. On day 67, I found my first diamonds in these 100 days. And I also fought an enderman and killed him. But sadly, no loot. I go mining for obsidian on day 68. Back to harvesting more wheat on day 69. On day 70, I created a nether portal and it worked. I went to the nether and put down some wood so it could block up the lava and I immediately started to die. Back to planting some seeds. I watched the sunset on day 72. I went into the nether on day 73 and immediately I found a skeleton. I put down a load of dirt on day 74. On day 75 I upgraded my tree house. I spent most of day 76 planting seeds and putting up hedges. The first thing I did on day 77 was destroy this melon. I also did some terraforming because this needs to all be flat. 
I made this villager a home on day 78. I spent all of day 79 building this structure in the middle of the sea. Going on to day 80, I completed the floor for this structure in the ocean. I spent day 81 building the walls for my glass dome. Once again, I spent all of day 82 building my glass dome. And there you go, there's my glass dome. I spent day 84 making new crops, which were very interesting. Back to growing some more wheat on day 85. And there was going to be a lot of it. I built a throne on day 86 made out of gold, lapis lazuli, redstone and iron. I watched the sun set on day 87. More terraforming on day 88. I went back to the swamp on day 89 and I saw this mushroom tree and I chopped it down. I went back into the caves for day 90. I went back to smacking leaves on day 91. I made my first cake on day 92. Going on to day 93, I went out exploring for a little bit. And I ate a bit of bread, but then I found a village with a little baby villager in it. I went mining on day 94, and I found lots of gold. I built a great big netherrack tower on day 95. On day 96, I completed my netherrack tower and I was very happy with it. On day 97, I upgraded my 100 days statue. I built a wooden path around my farm on day 98. Just one day to go now. And yes, we have reached day 100. After making this world, making a massive farm, doing so much, I want to say thank you to everybody who has watched the video, liked the video, subscribed. Even if you haven't done subscribing or liking, thank you just for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.